Hey, what's up guys? Michael here. And a while back I posted a video on how to build the fractal bow tie antenna. And this is one I showed you how to build. I built it out of just some household wire and put it on a piece of wood. Mounted it in my attic. And if, uh, if you've seen the video as well and you've built one as well, then you know all too well how much work goes into it. And so today we're going to give it an upgrade and make things a little bit easier. If you haven't seen the video yet, this upgrade is going to be basically the same as this antenna and you can click right here and watch it. And this is the one that I built and it only has one triangle instead of two. Uh, this, this works out well for me. Actually, I can't help but think of Bill Nye the Science Guy on this. But anyway, uh, I've also used P PVC. Uh, and if you want to get the most out of your antenna, this is the way to go. Another one I built, I built this out of just PVC pipe. And this was a little bit kind of a challenge because, first of all, it just wants to roll around on the table. But also, it's very smooth. So when I went to put on my, my uh, elements onto my lead wires, my lead wires wanted to kind of just scoot out. And so I had to do some uh, interesting stuff with that. But I finally got it to work. And this would work as if you wanted to put it on the pole. But anyway, let's get into the tutorial, and I'll see you there. All right, what I have here is a piece of PVC material. It looks like wood, but it's not. Found it at Lowe's, and it comes in several different sizes. This one is a one by two. Otherwise, the measurements are actually one and a half inches wide and three quarter inches thick. Now, I cut mine at 16 inches long, but you can cut yours as long as you like, as long as they meet these measurements. I'll refer to this as the 4224 rule. Now let's drill where the holes are going to be. I used a chisel to make some divots right next to where the screws are going to go. This will keep the wires from drifting off. Where the matching transformer connects, these grooves will be on the inside. I use a pair of metal snips to cut the whole wire. And here are the measurements that I used for this antenna. If you'd like to learn more about measurements for custom frequencies, check out my custom build video on the top right. A push-pull kind of action will help get those wires out of the sleeve. Careful now. Now let's get them wires out. Sand down the connecting leads from top to bottom. Hold it upside down to get them washers out of the way. Now the plastic tubing that I use is a refrigerator water line. But if you don't have anything like that, then you can just use electrical tape. Anything to keep the wires from touching. Use a Sharpie to mark the wires. Here are the measurements that I use. And here's the new shape we're looking for. That's a lot easier. Holding it upside down to get the washers out of the way so we can get the elements in there. Now let's tighten them down. And here's the finished product. The matching transformer that I have shown here is an indoor transformer, so if you're gonna go outside with it, then you'll need to get an outdoor transformer. You can order them at Amazon. I got mine at summitsource.com. Now let's take a look at the PVC pipe version of this antenna. And here I have a one and a half inch pipe and I have five pieces of one inch pipe, two inches long. Here I'm using a piece of wood as a guide so that I can make a nice straight line. And we'll follow the 4224 rule here. Using a small drill bit, drill a single hole on each mark. I'm using a 3 16 inch bit here, going all the way through. Next, we'll widen one of the holes a half an inch. 
We'll put the large hole down to the base to help keep it from moving around. And we'll tighten it down. Small holes for our screws. I used a hacksaw to make some grooves right next to where the screws go, which will keep the wires from sliding. Where the wires cross, one simply runs behind the other. Nothing is needed to separate them. I thought I'd just throw this clip in there, only because I thought it looked really cool. Here's one that I made using the one inch PVC pipe attached to a piece of wood. Now if you notice, my elements kind of overlap each other, but that's fine as long as they don't touch. And then there's my VHF element in the center. Well that's about it for this video. I know I didn't cover everything in this video, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you like the video, maybe honor it with a thumbs up. But that's it for me for now, and as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you.